on YouTube, it's your boy KBiz, back with another video. So this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick KB's thoughts. So I just was riding, driving the car, and just thought of this because uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting in my mind. So I just wanted to throw, throw it out there. So this is gonna be a segment called KB's thoughts, just randomly stuff I think about. So lately, I mean, I've been on social media a lot, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and the crazy thing is people always want others to be accountable, but never want themselves to be accountable. And what I mean by that is males want females to be accountable for the things they do. And a lot of females, of course, want men to be accountable for what they do. So the reason why I made the video is I'm at to the point where I'm just like, I get tired of hearing both sides like I can understand a lot of people arguing their views and their points and other people arguing their views and points but where where did it go wrong to where we as people can have each other's views really look at each other's views and different sides and come to an agreement that's where bridging the gap comes into play but this day and age, nobody likes to bridge the gap. That goes for men and women, because a lot of men, we're, we're wrong in a lot of things. A lot of women are right in a lot of things, but when women are wrong in things, they're so quick to either A, change the subject, give a snarly look at you, or just don't even acknowledge the fact that, you, that a man was right. And men, we think we're right too, but there's a lot of pride when it comes to us as well to say, hey, we was wrong about something. So, like, I wonder, how can we bridge the gap? I mean, I'm just talking about relationships, friendships, you know, all of that. Where can we all, as a people, bridge the gap at? So, I think first it starts with listening. Like, listening, like really listening to people. Not just, okay, you're listening, but you're hearing them instead of, listening to what they say, process in your mind and their views, and then be like, you know what? I think this is where the problem is, and this is what we can do to fix it, and vice versa as well, because a lot of people don't listen these days. They like to just hear people and just like, oh, okay, this is my point, but this, this, and this. Like, how are you going to have a healthy relationship or even a healthy dialogue with people if you're just being toxic by listening to small stuff they say so they can get out your face? That's not, that's not really being a human being. That's not really caring for someone. So, like, with my family and my friends and even my girlfriend, like, I really listen to what people say. Sometimes it catches people off guard because it's like, oh, I said that. I was like, yes, you said that. Like, I listen to everything you say. So there don't be no miscommunication on my end. Because I like, I, this is exactly what you said. You said it on this day. I don't throw out the time anymore. I used to do that, but it's just like, nah. So definitely listening is the first step. And to common ground. Everybody's not going to agree with everyone. But if you can come to a common ground to find the root of the problem, whatever your topic is, or whatever, then I think that's where the bridge of the gap will bridge together. And it's like it's like really bad because back in the days you didn't have social media, you didn't have cell phones, you didn't have email, you didn't you didn't have an audience as you do this day and age. People can look at your stuff like around the world. The videos I put up, any videos or anything on social media, all you have to do is just type somebody's name. On Facebook, if their stuff is private, you can't see it. But if it's to the public, you can see what everybody thinks. So, yeah. So, definitely listen. It's one. Coming to coming to a common ground is another one. And the biggest one, I think, to me, is social media. Why would you have to chastise somebody on social media or make somebody look bad on social media because they said something and you're just like, you know what? I want my friends and all my people to think of it. And then it's just like, oh, girl, you ain't wrong. Or, nah, man, you ain't, you ain't wrong and stuff like that. Why don't you just pick up the phone and call someone? You know, y'all go out, 
Starbucks, okay, Starbucks is a horrible example because this day and age, uh, you know, go to a cafe, go shoot hoops or play video games, whatever, but y'all to sit there and just talk as people. So many situations can be solved with just a simple phone call or just a simple going to go see someone and then y'all to hash out y'all views as people and leave it as that. But this day and age, everybody's so quick to put their baby mama on blast, put their baby daddy on blast, the person they would date in, this, this, and this. And I'm just like, that's not how we're bridging the gap. That's how the gap is just more widening. And it's really sad that people just can't communicate without social media. Like, I don't put nothing really outlandish on social media or anything like that to, to come at anyone. But I'm just like, why can't people still, you know, why can't people do that? Men and women. So, like, this really, this stigma and this divide is so big between men and women of all races. That is just, like, to me, it's just like, can we overcome this? And I believe we can overcome this once people just go back to doing some old school things, but a new school perspective. So, what I mean by that is old school coming to talk to someone one-on-one. -on -one, getting their views and ideas out even if you don't agree with them but then come to a common ground and then like use that as a platform in social media to actually talk to people intelligently like you like i put up a lot of a, a lot of posts y'all on catch i was like what can we do to bridge up the gap what do you think is big mixed communication between men and women and just people having views and just talking but if something was controversial everybody always got something to say but when it comes to actually something that we as people can bridge the gap in and understand each other better as men and women, everybody ain't got nothing to say. And some sometimes people are busy. Some people have, you know, lives, kids, jobs, stress, a lot of things. But it starts with us first you gotta look inside yourself and be like okay i'm not going to keep following this trend i'm going to break the trend and make a new trend or not do what everybody does because everybody these days not everyone but a decent amount of people always follow other people and it's just like where's the individuality where is like you know what this is what i feel and I think, so let me not try to follow anyone but myself. And then find those who are like-minded individuals like you. And then, you know, have a healthy conversation. Like in college, I want to say my freshman year, we had this real talk session where it was just men and women. Close the door. We put everything out there to understand the women and how they think and how we as men mess up in a lot of situations and then on the other end the men tell women what they're doing wrong and what they could do to do things better and what we can do as men to catch the signs of how we making they how how we making them feel and we're fixing the mistakes that we made or people in the past made and it, and it all just start with communication. Like, it's 100% start with communication. I'm, I'm a big believer of that. If anybody knows me, I'm all about communicating. Like, I can battle you back and forth with debates and stuff like that. But if you're just constantly hearing me instead of listening and then taking part of it and still having your views, then I'm just like, I'm, it's like being a dead horse. So this is just a KB thoughts and something I just came up with off the top of my head. Uh, leave a like, share, subscribe if you're new because I got a lot of content coming. Like I'm working on some things. I know I'll say I'm supposed to be dropping KB's Corner this week, but you know a lot of stuff been going on, and I still want to make sure I perfect this KB's Corner because this is my writing, and I want to make sure that y'all see something different from what you normally see from YouTubers who either do poems or anything. So just give me your thoughts, your views, and ideas. And this is K-Briz signing out. Thanks for watching.